Justin. Just kidding. Let's just start. Yeah, this is a uh, for real. Uh, welcome to. I guess this is a free view because uh, you can download this demo for free on Game Jolt. This is the Eagle Island Alpha. Great little music there. Um, this was. Pixel Nix. Uh, this game. This is the tech demo that came out during the Kickstarter. Is he Canadian? Uh, they look like a maple leaf. Oh, there we go. WSDJKO. Um, oh, this is I don't think he is. I think he's from game. the UK. So Eagle Island is an indie project. It's a roguelite Metroidvania done by a guy named Nick Gregory, going by Pixelnix. Um, so he made this and ran a successful Kickstarter. Uh, and I... I've been playing this game, uh, I've been speed running, uh, and I've been doing QA testing for the developer of this game. I almost don't want to be watching this. I think I, I feel like I should have been playing this. Because you just want to take the controls you already, now? Well, no, I... You I, could. No, you may as well do it. I just feel like... It, because you're so good at Conrad is the number one speedrunner of this game. I that is actually technically true. So <laughs> uh, he is very not... experienced with it and I feel like I I don't know, I like to try my best to approach games as someone who does not play games. As someone because I don't, and admittedly, you know, I've been playing games for the sake of this channel, but there are a lot of mistakes that are made by people like me who don't play a lot. I mean, I'm seeing clues. You know, those flowers, for instance, look kind of, um, I guess, Mario-esque? Yeah, so also a bit a... like those choppers from uh, yeah, yeah, Plants vs. Exactly. Zombies, which so There are playing. a lot of clues that are there, but I think it's always, it's always more interesting. I can't even watch, actually, the movements. It's gonna make me sick, but it's more interesting for me if I'm gonna review a game to not really be all that familiar with it. I've watched him casually, so I've never like sat down and watched him play. I just look over and he is frequently playing this. This is such a cute game. The speed run is super fun and it is. It's he's a lot been of fun yeah, to he's watch. been enjoying challenging the other players. So if there's anybody watching it, I hope you continue to challenge him because it it's just fun. Well and all we'll put all of these links up because mm -hmm. this now is this a free demo then yes okay. uh, we'll post Perfect, a link yeah. to the demo and also a link to the speedrun page Definitely which i manage consider doing that because it's a great game it's so much fun and i mean look at how full this is like yeah. this is a demo and it's got so much going on I, the sound effects are really well done Eagle Island will have nine uniquely themed areas. That's one of the Kickstarter yeah, messages that were included. So you flag oh, I haven't that? even used my feathers. Your owl. So you've got or your this eagle, I guess. He looks owl. like an owl. Wait, it, it so it's called owl. Eagle Island, but you use an owl? Because there's an eagle that kidnaps your other owl friend. Ugh, on all right. It. So you got that little, little fiery dude. You've got the ice one. Oh, it missed. So it's like a boomerang. Yeah, and then this... No, uh, can you jump on those mushrooms, or do you take damage? I will take damage. How, okay. Like, if I land on them, well, then I, mean, I, I get don't die or anything. But I can throw the wind the wind one. So you boomerang. I love it. Picking up the little gems. It's like a pirate raid of awesome. It's just so satisfying. I love stuff like this. Very straightforward and simple. Well, and all the artwork for the demo was done by Nick. But once he got funded, he spent... Oh no, the microphone! Oh, I'm so sorry! Apologies for the technical interruption. Uh, but when he... Once he got funded, he hired a couple artists. So they... They went through and they smoothed out all the animations and improved stuff. And I mean, it's super cute. It reminds me slightly, when he does that jump straight up, it reminds me slightly of, um, what's that one Disney movie that we like, uh, with the jetpack? A jetpack. Disney movie with the jetpack. 1930s. The Rocketeer? Yes! Oh, 
if oh, anyone yeah. you need to watch a movie called Rocketeer. It's totally family friendly. It is one of the best cute movies, especially if you are someone who enjoys like the Marvel movies or anything like that. Um, you know, it's not quite superhero. He doesn't have superpowers. He just has this cool piece of technology and uses it to I mean, admittedly, sometimes he uses it for his own interests, but for the most part, he's just a good a good solid bloke leading up to the Second World War. But yeah, the, it does remind me a little bit of the Rocketeer. So it's got a sort of, like, the the shape of him when he's up like that is very Art Deco. I mean, the the artwork itself is is contemporary with, you know, whatever. Minecrafty <gasps> and what is this little These rattata? little moles. I use a rattata. Jump out of the ground and throw rocks at you. Oh, no! Oh, no, you died. I did. And thankfully, on the uh, on the demo version, you just start right back up. So we've oh, got... that's nice. Now, this is a brand new map. Uh, it's the same enemies and stuff, but I've lost all of my perks. And every, uh, every one of these rooms has been newly randomly generated. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so you get a new experience every time. Well, uh, that's nice because that, that must make. So when you do speed runs, is that the same thing that happens? Um, yes. Uh, well, let's say if I, I'm actually gonna see how quickly I can, I yeah, can get just through this go now. Yeah, for it. Let's just show them. Uh, so oh, when no. you, I gotta beat all the enemies in this room to unlock the, uh, or to open up the gate. I assume you don't need those gems then, really. No, uh, the blue ones, they're called mana rocks. Mm -hmm. At least right now they are. Uh, they heal your uh, your mana, which is that blue... Your health, yeah, basically. Yeah, in the top uh -huh. left corner. And then you use those on your uh, magic. Huh. Whoops. Throw them on the ground. <laughs> so you can get some pretty cool... Uh, combos going. I love the idea of using using an owl as your weapon. Yeah. I, I just personally like animals. Well, falconry and it's, was his goal. It's like, very much kind of a Pokemon-esque thing, only, you know, you're not f abusing your animals until they pass out, and then reviving them just enough to keep fighting for you. Like, you know, he's not like, just, does he even take damage at all? Uh, the owl itself doesn't. Uh, so it, I, I appreciate that. That He's just this awesome, indestructible little buddy. It's the perfect fantasy, right? That you have your perfect companion who just does your bidding for you. Well, and he he was given this a special... So satisfying. Uh, Koji is the name of the owl. And Koji. Quill, Aww. the the boy, he was given a is special... Quill? Yes. He was what? given that, a special, oh, falconer's glove that allows him to, to like control his falcon and provide his these owl. enchanted bonuses. So it, I think it's just so cute. I absolutely oh. love this. See, ah. can you not do damage when he's down like that? No, and okay. you might have noticed that Koji was yeah. flashing a little bit when that happened. I love that. I like the simple cues. Like, it's important to let your players know. Again, like, going back to what I was saying about being someone who doesn't really play games, there are certain things that you almost oh. expect from from a video game, but if you haven't played a lot of video games, you those would not be intuitive necessarily. Do those little crabs do damage to you? I don't think so. I think they're just little fun Crabbage. bonus thingies. They're cute. They are. Oh boy. Whoa. I'm gonna throw that one through. Whoa. Okay, so when he returns, he does no damage, but when you throw him, he'll damage anything. Exactly. Okay, just there are okay. perks that, oh, okay, so this is the boss. You can do I'll it, go Conrad. easy on the boss so that he doesn't get mad at me. Or so that you can see so this is just a simple little enemy that was done for the for the demo. Uh, the big bosses are amazing, and I can't wait to be able it's to like show a, off some of those. A Dia de los Muertos. Oh, wait, it is a little skull, bit candy skull looking thing. Look at that, I can, and I got a 
magical. So there we go. This is so cute. So at the end, of course, you get the little Kickstarter. Yeah, you, I mean, I... And uh, I... I'm totally thinking, I mean... I love it. Oh, you can leave, too. And we God, did it in three cute. minutes and 45 so seconds. So even just casually, you're... You're basically just barely doubling your time, really, Very is what's true. happening. Well, and like, I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go back to the title, and I'm going to show off the sp speeded seed run mode. Mm -hmm. And I'll just, I'll just run through it. And, like... I'll maybe put a link to the, the, the video that I did. Already? Not yet. Now it starts. Okay. Yeah. So first thing just, I'm gonna do is focus. jump right in. Whoops. And die immediately. There we go. Jump over these guys, and then jump through into this room so that I can go fast. Whoop. I love the owl. I just love this so much. I've been Whoopsie. watching him play this for what, like a year now, maybe? Oh no. Moosey Doodle, try it again. Something like that. I mean, this so game been has been going him, to, to again, not even actively or... watching, just casually looking over when he's playing it, and I just—it's so cute. I did not realize this wasn't a full game either. He's Me put so either. much time <laughs> into playing this game, and that's just that is because it's a good game. It's really fun to play. He's—he's he's enjoyed this to the point that he has spent hours doing repeated speed run challenges it's gonna damage boost through because those guys because it's a cute game i mean look at this it's the beautiful colors i love the background um i mean personally i'm the kind of player that would want to explore what's in the background but no this is super fun you know it's a throwback to a lot of games, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's ripping off those games. Exactly. It's and just that wonderful. to me is the most important part. Whoops. Oh no. I'll be okay. Just gotta be yeah, it, careful about. Yeah, it doesn't about. feel like it's ripping anything off. It just feels familiar, um, but fresh all at the same time, which is always a good thing. I mean, right, you know, you have something like room. Minecraft, and even though Minecraft is kind of reminiscent of a couple of other games, there really is no other Minecraft, you know, that that defined an entire genre of video games. Go for it. Just run. Run. You're right. already like so here's a little tricky thing I can do here. I can... behind oh. your time. I should have uh so funny. Oh, whoops. Whoa. That's okay though. Got through those enemies pretty fast. My major time, I've actually already passed my best time right now. Whoops. Oh, I can yeah. actually just run through those guys. So I'll show you so the secret to beating the boss. If you're damage, fast. then you won't take more damage. True. Yeah, you get a invincibility for I a bit. I love <laughs> the Peggle esque Boop. sound effects. Well, so, great job. So that's that's the uh, that's, the seated speed run. There was Eagle a little competition. Island, then. I mean, this is just the free free versions available. Yeah, but all sorts of links will be in the description. Definitely look into this and. You know, at the very least, play the demo. And if you have a channel, record it and let us know, because we'd love to watch you play it. I think this is a really cute game. Yeah, I mean... Do you want to do one more speed run? I do. I'll what is your current speed run um, record? That is a good question. Let's let's see real quick, so because we're, I want to see I'll go back to the title it. screen real quick, just so that It always surprises me when he's doing speed runs that he doesn't record it. Because I feel like if I was going to spend 14 years of my life... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He doesn't really, but... No, seriously, like, if you're going to dedicate yourself to something, why not record it for posterity? So, <laughs> on the seated mode, my record is 1 minute 36 seconds. Oh, so you were barely behind in that one thing. Well, I got 151. I was quite a bit behind. Uh, but I still but did still within pretty the good. Speed run. Mar well, I now, say I'm gonna do the little challenge mode. Okay, yeah. Uh, I say it, that's the last thing we'll do on this video. We'll we'll yeah. definitely see if you can't do it. Should I talk only, or do you, are you? I I can talk during this. I think you need. To I focus. doubt I'm gonna be able to beat think you my record. That's okay. I think if you even get close, it'll be pretty cool. So get second just, place time as well. You just hustle and you focus, because I just think this is so cute. Reminds me a little bit of Jill of the Jungle. I mean, anybody that's played games like this will will see comparisons, but um, we recently uh, recorded Conrad playing You Have to Win the Game, 
Yeah, and that that's was been so, so fun. fun. Unbelievable that that was a free game. I mean, for me anyway, I I can be a bit curmudgeonly <laughs> about a lot of things, but I thought that game was pretty incredible. Um, there was so much content, and even after it was completed, Conrad went back through and tried to 100% it because it gives you a precise percentage of, of the accomplishments. So yeah, it tells you how much you've gotten done. I, I found that game just so fun to watch, and you know, it's pretty Entering simple the mine and area. Really, so people that like a lot more action, maybe it wouldn't quite be for them, but for me, it was just awesome. And then the the puzzle at the end, I actually had looked up what the answer was because I don't have the patience for that kind of stuff I, at all. I am I pretty proud of never, myself for figuring that out. I am too. I never, for me, just getting through the map would have been the only achievement I cared about. I <laughs> never would have actually completed that game. I never would have figured it out, ever. That's just not how, I, I don't know, that's just not something that I'm... I'm good at, I guess. And maybe after playing that game, I might see those patterns in other games, but... Um, but yeah, that was a really cute... And it's free! How can you say no to a free game? Yeah, I mean, I'm not even good at stuff like that. that content in it. Um, I, I oh no, I like ran get, myself into a corner that I didn't need to. I'd like to get some kind of Android recording device, because I'd like to show off a game called Hue. It's a simple puzzle game, but it's it's color matching. This is where things ramp color up. Color sorting. Well, you focus then. Um, you you have. Oh no! Oh, I got a health right at the last possible moment. You have a sheet of of different colors that are sorted into into their hue order and then it mixes it up and there are certain tiles that stay the same and that's basically your guide so you you can kind of compare um and it's it's really it's not a very you know it's not something like this it's not super fun per se but it's a very good brain teaser you learn colors as you go i've learned that i'm very good with purples and blues and i am terrible with anything brown or red um i'm actually sort of the opposite I think you need to play some hue. I think that has something to do to with. Test it. I think that has to do with like the color of our eyes. Like, I, oh I'm no! not sure. I do know that um, I've had. I remember in like the fourth grade or the fifth grade or something, arguing with my friend <gasps> about what color oh, her nail polish die. was, and it was like a highlighter color. Well, is that yellow or green? And really, it's chartreuse, which is its own shade. It's not—it's neither yellow nor green. It's both. Um, but she was so determined that it was obviously green. I'm like, it's so obviously yellow. What are you talking about? And that wasn't to say that I didn't recognize that it had green hues in it. Um, but that's something that I find very interesting, is that you do have to train your eyes to be able to perceive these differences. And because it's these little tiles that get mixed up, um, you think you know where a color should go, and then you Almost move it, and you realize how much lighter it is than you thought it was, or how much darker, or whatever. So I, I don't know, like I said, I, it's not <laughs> it's not a very exciting game, necessarily, but it's a great game to do if you're, like, waiting for the bus, or... You know, wait for your mom to pick you up from from school or oh something. Oh no, bear! What are you doing? You're just all over the place. I think you're getting distracted. No, that's just the map. It's um, it's uh, it's you can random, and I don't have. Yeah. Now, if you get real lucky when you're speed running this, you might end up finding a little map token, which gives you the ability to see all the rooms you haven't visited yet. But otherwise, you do have to just kind of play through and, and hope for the best. When I speed ran this game originally, I was just doing some time to like see how well I could do. I got uh, I got a really good time, but I hadn't recorded it. And then the time that I did record ended up being like a quarter of a second slower, you, and I've never been able to beat that time. You definitely need to just record by default from now on, because especially with this game, you've got to, 
defend your honor. <laughs> I, I might stream it like once once the main game comes yeah. out. There's a rogue mode. There's an endless mode, well, which to is going to be amazing. Too. I would be very slow, but I'm not sure that matters all that much. Like, you know, I'm not trying to necessarily do the speed runs. Um, I just think that it's a really look. Just look how cute this game is. Like his little. 1950s style doo-wop hair. And oh yeah, little, it is like, pretty art 50s. Deco. Seriously, when he jumps up, he's just super art deco looking. I love, I love his jump animation, even from here. Oh, here we go. Here's the boss. So this is the end there of the run. Go. As soon as I beat the boss. So you're only a couple minutes in. You've got this. Ooh, lots of bosses though. Or are those shadows of his former self? Nope, so that's like... just the boss. Okay. Whoa! Look at you go. Your owl is amazing. Can you use different types of? You can. I but tend to use the ice yeah. because that's the fastest. Uh huh. Is that what you're using right now? Not right now, since oh, okay. I don't have magic. Oh, I, I gotcha. I'm okay. using the regular one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, God. and I got health back, got so. Oh, this is so scary. And then I froze him. And then get on top of him and just bash oh, him. Oh, there you go. Six oh, minutes, 21 rainbow. seconds. So that's like, what, a minute or so slower than your Yeah, it's speed about a minute slower. But that's, that's still pretty cool. I love this. I love this so much. Yeah. And that's, so what's this, this is guy's, Nick, I guess? Nick Pixel? Gregory. You know, just go Nick, to pixelnicks.net, awesome. uh, and we're just going to put a bunch of links to yeah, this game yeah, so you can sure. download I mean, the demo and play. Anybody that's going to provide a free demo that's this much fun, yeah. This is practically I a full game. I am going to endorse you. <laughs> like, you, you, can, you can just keep... What? Keep playing this. There's challenge I mean, modes, standard much, and speed run mode. This is as mode. much as like Minecraft on mobile gives you. They give you mm, like maybe ten blocks sure. and such limited movement. But this is awesome. You can seriously play this entire game. This is why I didn't realize that it wasn't the full game. It's because it's just so complete. so much there. And especially so if it's randomly generating, I mean, that just makes it, you could play it infinitely and yeah. not get bored. That's so rad. Awesome. So that's, uh, that's Eagle Island. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like it, then check out the links below. Yeah, and definitely. tune in for, I'll Hit be posting any speed runs I do for Eagle Island Good. here from now on. Because I have another channel I post them on, but now I figure yeah. I'll just show them off here so you can see the cool Definitely stuff you can do in this Nick. game. This game looks awesome. Thanks for watching.